Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the timer on your dryer. The timer controls all of the functions of the dryer, including the motor and the heating circuit. If it fails, you may have no heat, or your dryer may not tumble, or the timer may not advance. It's a really easy job to change. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So either pull it forward and unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Now to change the part, we'll need to access the back of the console, so you will need to pull the dryer a little bit forward. So now that we have access to the back of the dryer, we'll just remove these screws that secure the back cover onto the console. And then just pull that back panel off and set it aside. We now have access to the timer. Now before we pull the timer off, the first thing will be to pull the knob off from the front. So to remove the timer knob, we we'll simply just pull it straight off of the shaft. Then next we're going to remove these two quarter inch hex head screws that secure the mounting bracket to the control panel. Just lift the timer out and next we'll remove all the wires that are attached to that timer including the large harness connector and if they're on there fairly snug either take a flat blade screwdriver and just pry them off or use your needle nose pliers When using pliers, remember to just hold on to the terminal itself and not the wire. Once we've removed all the wires, we can discard the old timer. And before we install the new one, just carefully inspect each of the wire terminals, looking for any signs of arcing or corrosion, particularly with the two larger wires that are part of the heat circuit. If any of the terminals are bad, you'll need to cut them off, strip back some insulation, and install a new heat resistant terminal. Next, we'll take our new timer. And you'll note that the color codes for the wires are labeled beside each of the terminals. So just fit the wires back on, making sure that they fit on nice and snug. And if they're a little bit loose, just take your pliers and crimp those terminals a bit.
Now with all of the wires reattached, we'll then position that hammer shaft through the opening in the control panel and reinstall the retaining screws. Now when installing the timer, we want to line it up so that these two metal bumps fit into those openings and then just hold it in place while you put the screws in from behind. And that will help us align the screw holes at the back. And then you can tighten it up. Tuck the harness back into place and then we can put the back panel on. So we'll just place that back panel into position. Line up the screw holes. And then reinstall the retaining screws. And now we're ready to push the dryer back into position. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.